Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. How you guys doing? Where do the Browns go from here? Even besides the trade for Darius Smith. Everybody from the fans to the media kept blaming Deshaun for the way the team played. Well, Deshaun didn't play this week. And the offense essentially looked like what Deshaun did. So, you know, Deshaun isn't to blame for the lack of run game he had for the interceptions and the receivers and everything that's been going on. So where do we go from here? Should we pivot towards more of a San Francisco model with a quarterback on a rookie deal? Or what is the way forward? Because in my whole lifetime, I've never seen the Browns develop a quarterback or a receiver. And it doesn't seem like we have a light in the tunnel. So where do you guys think we pivoted and go on from here? I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts and comments. Thank you. Have a nice day. As always, appreciate uh, all of the voicemails. So, Tim, I, again, I think it, I think it begins with there's a mismatch. You know, the, you tried to tweak the offense to to build it around shotgun and Deshaun's strengths. I was all for that. People who watch the show knows, no, I I was all for that. It didn't work. Um, the offensive line has lost its identity in doing that. I would go back to what Stefanski knows. And then relative to the quarterback, we'll get into that in a little bit. you got to figure out what your options are. Yeah, I mean, you really can't evaluate all those options till the season's over, till you know where you're picking, till you have an idea of you know, what you want to do with your roster going forward as far as who you want to keep, who you want to move on from, all those different things, and also leaving cap space for your draft pick. So that there's a lot to play into that. But you know, going to kind of what you're saying is the offense struggling again on Sunday – I would agree, yeah, it's not just on Deshaun Watson. I've said all season, it's not just Deshaun Watson. There's a lot of things that have gone against his offense. Watson hasn't played well enough. I think we can all agree on that. I don't think he, when you get paid that money, you're expected to overcome a lot of different things, and he quite simply didn't do that. But I think there's one other big difference with, with Sunday compared to the rest of the season. Los Angeles Chargers have the best defense in football right now. They're number one in scoring. They're number 11 against the pass, number five in net passing yards all for attempt. They're eighth against the run. That's a really, really good defense. That's easily the best defense the Browns have seen this season, with the exception of maybe the Philadelphia Eagles, who are now suddenly red hot again. So I think that was more of a Chargers defense is really, really good. And then the two blown coverage touchdowns you gave up against Justin Herbert put you into a hole where you played right into the hands of the Chargers who love to play a lot of zone and the Browns didn't take long enough to adjust. Which I think it, I think has been another issue is they've taken a really long time to adjust the game plans. And by the time they have, it's too late. So I, I just think this is more about who they played more so than they just didn't play well. They just ran to a really good defense on Sunday. I think you have to give the Chargers credit for that. Yeah, the, the Chargers defense was good, but – the game plan was not good because there was nobody open. I, I mean, the, it's almost like the Chargers knew the playbook, which is never a good feeling um, for your offense. All right.